How much does it actually cost to print this? Or this? Or something like this? <laughs> these? Or better yet, these puzzle boxes? How much does a good 3D printer cost that I'm gonna set up at home? What about the cost of electricity? How much do I need to spend on filament? And then how much filament actually goes into printing something like this? People say that 3D printed things are biodegradable. Well, that's not entirely true. This is plastic and it will be plastic for hundreds of years. But what do they mean when they say it's sustainable? What is the real cost of 3D printing? Stick around and we'll find out. First up, printers, and I'll keep this topic short because there is an endless amount of research that you can go do online right now to look up how much you want to spend on a 3D printer. You can literally spend from about $100 to six figures. They make printers that can build concrete homes, print these amazing resin prints from the top down, and they can print carbon fiber, metal, or a lot of other materials. But when I'm talking about 3D printing, I'm mostly talking about a machine like this that sits at home where you can print most types of plastic. The first 3D printer I want to talk about is called the Ender 3 V2 made by Creality. And it's probably the most popular printer in the world today. It's $279 on Amazon and it has everything you need to get started. The second printer I'll talk about is the Prusa Mark III S. This is the iPhone 10 of printers. This is probably the easiest printer to get going. They're $788 with the accessories you're going to want, and that still requires about 12 hours of assembly time. I would have bought this printer to get started, but they always have a 3 to 12 week shipping delay, so I went with this. What I have here is an Artillery Sidewinder X1. It's somewhere in between the Ender 3 V2 and the Prusa Mark III S. This is $440, here it is on Amazon. It's super well rated, it's extremely robust, but all three would be a great choice for a 3D print enthusiast to get started. So now that you've spent $440 on your kick-ass Sidewinder X1 Artillery V4 printer, you've gotta go buy filament. These are the rolls of filament that feed the 3D printer. Here are the prices I've paid recently on Amazon. You can spend anywhere from 15 to 50 bucks on a roll of filament, depending on what it is and what it's good for and what its tolerances are. But I've almost perfectly averaged $20 per one kilogram of material, which means for every gram, I spend about two cents. We need to start weighing some of the stuff I've printed to see how heavy it is and to see how much money it actually costs to print something. First up, the exterminator. This fly swatter is 16 inches long and came in at 33 grams, which is 66 cents. This little container is about 2 inches in diameter and 2 inches tall and was 84 cents of material to print. This is a prop I printed for one of my videos and it cost me $2.44 in filament. This little rocket is 2 grams, which is only 4 cents to print and it's 2 parts. What a deal! This is my puzzle box. To print it completely with 22 pieces is only $1.04 worth of filament. This is a prototype stand, which is one sixth scale and is meant to hold a 45 pound weight. And this is really where the 3D printer comes into its own because there's no way you can prototype something any other way for that cheap. So as a tool, this is amazing. And these little stands in the bottom can also be screwing things that hold a three inch wheel like this. And in full size, that's only $1.28. This Benchy came in at 24 cents. And this cool little articulating print in place hand came in at only 64 cents. These nuts and bolts cost me apparently 54 cents to print. This holder is the longest print I ever did. It was about 27 hours to print, but it only used 270 grams of material, which is just over $5. And this lens privacy cover for a laptop camera apparently was absolutely free. <laughs> I'm gonna fire off a print that's five and a half hours long. I'm gonna measure the amount of electricity that my machine uses. We're gonna use this kilowatt meter. This just constantly adds up how much electricity it's using in units of kilowatt hour. So I paying about 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So we'll see how much it costs to print. So the amount of electricity it took to produce this was 0.56 kilowatt hours, which is about eight cents of electricity. And this stuff weighs a total of 57 grams. So for me, on my printer, it costs about 6% more when I factor in the cost of electricity in addition to the cost of the filament. But I really think we're getting into the weeds here. 
PLA is what most people are using to print. PLA is sustainable, which means it's made from plant-based materials. To make this doesn't require fossil fuels. So from that end, it's not the worst plastic that's ever been made. This will eventually decompose and it will take two to 300 years to do that. So when you throw this away, it'll sit in the landfill for your children's grandchildren's grandchildren's generation. So it's not exactly like you've done the world a big favor by using PLA. What you can do is you can save your old prints and someday you'll be able to upcycle them. By that I mean you can actually take something that's been printed like this and turn it back into a roll of filament. Those machines cost about $3,000 and there are a couple projects out there where you can save up your material, send it in, and then they'll upcycle it back into a roll and sell that to the general public. I would love for my YouTube channel to get big enough where I'll buy one of those machines. People send their old scraps, misprints to me, and I will combine the misprints into a roll of brand new filament and we'll give it away on this channel. If that's interesting to you, hit me up, let me know. Links to most of the prints I've shown today are in the description down below. Thanks again for watching. Please consider subscribing. Give me the like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much, and we will we will see you in a week. The green light make me look like a YouTuber?